Traditional gold leaf gilding is a term used to describe the use of thinly beaten leaves of gold for layering, designs, and much more. Some of the world's most famous monuments use gold leaf. Two of the most common forms of gold leaf gilding are transfer and loose leaf gilding. And today, we're gonna to be using loose white gold leaf to make a gilded glass sign. I wanted it to be totally unique, so it's completely hand-drawn, and it's to celebrate 2,000 subscribers to the channel. A landmark that I honestly didn't ever see it in. So let's have some fun and get into it. Now before I started recording, I thought I'd sketch down a few ideas. I always liked the idea of having the L and the H for the letterhead somewhere in there. So I decided to draw out the letters, and originally it started out with a really big slab serif. But I really didn't like the look of that. I didn't think it was going to fit, I wanted something more elegant. So I settled on a more Trajan style of layering. I think the shorter, sharper serifs give it a much more elegant feel. So I kind of had this nice idea of running some vines along the outside of the letter. But then I felt like it was missing something. So there was some uh, negative space around the inside of that L, so I thought I'd put some flowers in there too. So now we've got some rough ideas and some sketches down, it's time to start drawing out our final design. Now it's always worth bearing in mind that as this is on glass, we want to have our design in reverse, so that it's seen from the face in the correct way. Starting off with the main strokes, I'm going to get some measurements down really, really lightly. That way I can make any adjustments as I go along. Then as I get a shape that I kind of like, I'm going to go in heavier and we're going to have a solid line for me to work from. It's always worth bearing in mind, make sure to clean your glass. What I like to use is uh, isopropyl alcohol and that'll take any grease or any finger smudges off of there. You don't really want any dirt there or really any grease or anything, that'll stop the paint from sticking. So now the sign's clean, we can get started on painting some of the details. Now when you're sign painting onto glass, it's important to think about the order you will see things from on the face. If you think of things in layers, I find it helps that way. So the very top layer will be our green lines and these vines are gonna go on top of everything else and they're gonna show over all of the design. But I do want it to wrap around the layering. So there are some parts where I won't be going over the layer. This is to give it the visual effect from the face that it is going behind the layer. Thank you. 
So with the very top layer being the green finally finished, we got to let that dry and then we'll move on to the next layer. So the next layer for this sign is going to be the black. Once this black is on, it will also work as a masking area for the gold. So the gold will just sit inside of that layer. So with this part, you want to carefully go around your layers and bear in mind that you want to only cover the areas that you aren't going to be gilding and make sure that your glass is clean. You don't want tons of hair and dirt under there after you've painted it because uh, that's pretty much unremovable. Now depending on what kind of paint you're using, you'll want to give this one or two coats. You really don't want to see anything through the black. Because if it does show through, that's going to be a really big problem for later and it may not be fixable. So now the black is on and we're going to leave it to dry and the next layer is the red and this is going to give a nice outline for our gold and after that we are ready to apply our gold leaf. So stick the kettle on, we're going to make some boiled water. Now the best kind of water you can use is distilled water, although you can use normal tap water if you're really stuck as well. For this video, I've used four gelatin capsules to 500 milliliters. I get the feeling it might need a little bit more gelatin just to help it stick a bit more because it, uh, it is only 14 karat white gold, so it may be a little bit thicker than the, uh, the standard gold that I'm used to using. So I have put in a little bit extra gelatin today. And this is the uh, standard gold leaf that I didn't end up using on the leaves in the end. I was having a look through the book and it looked like I probably wouldn't have enough to do what I needed to do. And this is the white gold leaf. This one's from Handovers and was significantly cheaper than the standard gold leaf. Which makes sense because it's only 14 carats but it looks quite silvery and is perfect for outside use. The reason why I've used this leaf is because silver leaf can tarnish, even when it's backed up. Unless it's backed up in a special kind of varnish, it is gonna tarnish inside, outside, anywhere you put it. That's always worth bearing in mind with silver leaf. Now not long into starting, I did notice that this leaf was exceptionally thin. It was a lot closer to the standard gold leaf. I must admit it did throw me off, so the extra gelatin probably wasn't necessary. But it stuck absolutely perfectly. 
And once you have one layer on, you're gonna burnish it with your cotton wool, and that's gonna break away any loose flakes. It will show up any areas that haven't been covered as well. So if there's any loose gold that isn't quite stuck on it or take that off, then you have gotta go around for a second layer. And with that second layer, the aim is to try and blot out any holes that you see. It often helps to lift it up and shine some light through it. If you can see the light go through it, you're probably going to see it once it's backed up. Now I'm going to go through with a second layer and I am going to cut over all the blank areas, anything that I've missed, anything that I'm going to be able to see through that gold. And give everything a last check over because once this is backed up, there's no going back. And once it's all backed up, we're going to wait till tomorrow, leave it to dry and then fit it inside of our frame. And there we have our hand-drawn, hand-gilded sign. Absolutely over the moon with how this looks. Especially considering a lot of this work is done now with a stencil. Although looking at the finished product, I really do wish that I'd used traditional gold leaf for the, uh, for the leaves in the end. I feel like the contrast would have really, really helped with the design. But overall, I'm really blown away with the look of it. All in all, a really fun project. And now I get to hang something really cool in the studio. If you've liked this video and you found it useful make sure to give the video a like and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I've been Lewis the Letterhead and until next time bye bye.